what uh, what we need to do so what we need to do from here is to run our model at least let's see what we are getting okay of course we are having some errors so let me uh, click okay so as you can see here we have some uh, negative pressure so to do so so the next thing that we need to do is to, to see at which area we are having some issues so let me uh, let me right click and select options so from here what you, uh, what you can do is to select uh, this notation so from here I want to display everything so this so this values except this one and so and to let me change the flow arrow and select the field one okay so let me click ok so from here we have this and also this one and this one as you can see the arrow values here so what we, uh, uh, what we need to do from here at least let me increase the font let me increase the font notion then select the font let me increase a little bit this font and also the flow arrow let me increase it a little bit so the arrow size to six then click ok so for now we're having uh, some uh, good values here so let me go here to browser so this browser and again let me select map and also select the uh, pressure so at each at each node i want to display the pressure okay so you can see here we have some uh, very big uh, negative values and this is an indication possibly the pipes that we are using they are quite small compared to the uh, to the demands or to the uh, flow in these uh, junctions here so to counteract this what we need to do is to change the pipe tire okay the pipe tire so let me start here with a p1 and see what i have in this area so before we before we even start to change the pipe tire let me select the links so for each link i want to display the flow so as you can see here the flow here is this one and also this one here okay so the flow here is quite okay and again let me select the unit head losses as you can see here now these are the unit head are the unit head losses so the idea is just to make sure that at least we are able to achieve uh, acceptable values for velocities for unit head losses and even for pressure Okay, so this is what we are going to do from now on, just to make sure that uh, we have the acceptable values of uh, velocity, of um, unit head loss, and also the pressure. So to do that, let me let me let me do this. So so for this pipe, okay, so as you can see here, the the uh, unit head the unit head losses are quite high. So from here, what I can do is to select this pipe and let me increase the pipe dia a little bit. Okay, so let me show you something from here. Uh, let me show you something from here. Let me go to help and select uh, this topic here. Okay, so let me select this one. If we increase the pipe diameter, we are going to reduce the head losses. And if we decrease the pipe diameter for a given uh, for a given q or velocity then we are going to uh, reduce the head loss so the lower the the small the dia the higher the head the head losses and vice versa okay so the same uh, the same approach can be seen in hazen williams so if we reduce the pipe dia then we are going to have a big values of uh, head losses and if we increase the dia then we are going to reduce the head losses of course for a given uh, discharge so from here let me close this what we need to do here now is to increase our pipe dia so as we can reduce the unit head losses or the head losses so from here let me increase a little bit let me increase it to um, 63 and see what we are we are getting so let me click run and so if i click run you can see now the unit head losses have reduced uh, significantly so from here let me increase again from 65 to 75 remember what you what you need to use here is the internal diameter that is very important so let me click run again and see what i get
okay so let me increase again from 75 to 90 okay so this are the so this is the value let me increase a little bit at least we need to have uh, the unit head losses from five meters per kilometers all the way to around 10 somewhere there so, so for now we are having 20 so let me increase a little bit to 110 remember you are we are using internal diameter here and again let me click run again so this is the value at least for now it's not bad let me check the velocity at this pipe you can see now we have 0 0.8 and also let me check uh, the flow so this is our total flow in this uh, pipe here which is p1 so let me do the same uh, the same thing for this p2 3 and 5 so let me go back to unit to unit uh, head losses so from here what i can see we have again this a uh, big number so this indicates that for a given flow or for a, for a given discharge this pipe uh, that we are using here is quite small of course the value here is the default value which is 12 so we need again to increase the values a little bit so so as to reduce the unit head losses so from here let me increase the let me introduce here 63 and see what uh, and see what we have okay so at least now we are getting so let me push it up to 75 internal there and see what we are getting okay at least at least not not that bad and again let me okay so let me leave it like this for now and see what and see what we're going to get after uh, dealing with this uh, other pipes so let me again adapt the same value from here let me adapt 75 and again this one also let me adapt 75 and again this one also 75 okay remember the roughness they are just the same so let me click run and see what we are getting so these are the values remember we are looking at a unit head losses so from for here we have a 7.9 okay this one but here we have a quite a small uh, unit head losses which also indicate that we are possibly having a very small velocity so if i click here velocity you can see here the velocities here are quite small so before it so before we we click anything here just to increase the velocity uh, because uh, what we need to achieve is a velocity velocity is not less than uh, 0 0.4 meters per second but for now here at this p3 and p4 the values that we are having for velocity here are quite small so you can see here 0 0.2 and here 0 0.2 okay so before we touch anything here let me uh, deal with, with these pipes again then i'll come back to p3 and p4 so let me go back here to links let me select uh, unit head losses and see what you can get from here so from here let me increase the value to uh, 63 Okay, 63 i remember the idea is to make sure that we achieve um velocities and unit unit head losses pressure in at acceptable value so from here what we are having is let me change back to velocity you can see here we have a 0 0.2 let me reduce this one to 50. okay we need to get a pipe there that will uh, give us uh the values that we want okay so the values for unit for unit head losses the values for velocities and all those stuff so let me select here 50 and at least let me see what we are getting at least now we are having 0 0.36 which is not that bad so from here let me deal with uh, this area again okay so here velocities for this p10 is 9.28 0.28 we need to reduce this to reduce this uh, velocity by increasing the pipe dia so from here let me select uh 15 and see what we are having in uh, velocity here so you can see now we have uh, 0 0.5 which is uh, good and again let me use the same value in this area so in this area let me use uh 32 remember this is internal diameter make sure that you are you are using internal di uh, internal diameter not outside diameter let me run again you can see now at least we are having this uh, kind of values here okay okay so here 0 0.4 as a 
as a velocity and again here 0 0.87 so let me deal with uh, this part here again from here let me select the internal diameter let me select 63 and again this one let me set it to 63 and see what we are having and again uh, this one p p8 let me select uh, 32 remember internal internal diameter and here 32 okay so let me run my model and see what we are having at least for now we don't have some we don't have those errors again so let me click ok and see what we are having in this uh, region so this is the values that we are having so let me change the color so to change the color here you can go here to uh, label select uh, select this area here and then uh, left click so this window here is going to appear so what i need to do is to make sure that any velocity value that is less than 0 0.4 will be uh, will be assigned with a red color okay red color and anything here will be assigned to purple let me select the purple of course you can change the color as you prefer so for me let me select the purple just to make sure that we're having so anything anything above uh, 1.5 will be marked uh, with a red color okay red color so from here let me select okay so as you can see we are having some issues okay okay so what i expected is in these areas here uh, this pipe here will be with a red color because it is less than 0 0.4 but it seems as though we missed some figures here so so let me put here one and again let me put here uh 1.4 okay and see what we are having so for now any velocities uh less than 0 0.4 will be uh, marked as uh, in red color just like this one here okay so at least for now we are having uh this situation okay so if you can remember we said that when we we will come back to p4 and p3 here so let me deal with this one so let me select here 63 and again here 63 okay remember this is internal diameter at least we need to make sure that we are getting a velocity value uh, which is above a uh, 0.4 meters per second okay so in this region this is why we reduce the pipe dial to 63 and let me click run and at least for now okay not but not that bad and for this one uh, let me put here 50 50 okay let me click run okay at least that one so let me select again the unit head losses again they are not bad we are we are having seven and again let me reduce this one to 50 okay just to make sure that at least we are having unit unit head losses and velocity in acceptable value remember unit head loss should be within uh five meters per kilometers to 10 meters per kilometers okay around that region even if we get outside that but we need to have a value that, that is close to 10 around there okay so let me click run again and see what we are having so this is the situation that we are having here but in this uh, region here the uh, this this one is quite big so let me click and increase it to let's say 50 because this okay so the demand here the demand here was was how much 0 0.7 and again here is as so this one here was this one here was meant to be a, a distribution point and this one here was meant to be a cattle trough cattle trough cattle trough okay so here the demand here is 0 0.7 and again here the demand is 0 0.35 okay so let me click run and see if we can reduce uh, this unit here, unit head losses here okay okay so at least now so far so good we are having this value let me check the velocity again uh, 0 0.36 and again so we are having the small value in this p8 p3 p4 and p13 okay so for now at least we are having this situation so let me let me push this around this area and this one 
around this area and also this one around this area so this is the situation that we are having okay so the next step here is uh, to check the pressure values okay so we we have checked the velocities the unit head losses at least now we are having uh, something which is not bad but if you take a, a closer look in this uh, region especially in this j7 and the j8 you can see the pressure values here are quite high okay but uh, i remember this is consumption point or this is a water point or distribution point. so we cannot have this uh pressure values here we need we need at least uh, to have like uh, 10 meters of water columns all the way to 30 meters of water columns so in a simple language at least we need to have like a uh, one bar to three bars okay in this uh, dis distribution point here but for now uh, what we are having here is a uh, 143 138 remember this is in uh, meters of water column and again the same situation we are having here okay so for now at least uh, as far as uh, velocities uh, unit head, unit head losses goes we are having a uh, very good values but we, uh, what we need to do is to deal with uh, this kind of uh, big pressures here which is to find a way that we can deal with uh, these values but for simplicity let's see how we can use a break pressure tank to reduce uh, this kind of pressure in this uh, region here in this regions 